Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Jay Cruz and welcome back to another video. In this one, we're gonna discuss one of my favorite parts of the guitar and that's tremolo bars. Let's get it. So this topic actually stems from a comment that I recently got where someone was literally angry with how much I used the tremolo bar and truth be told, yes, I absolutely overused the tremolo bar 110%. Today I want to discuss the differences between the three sort of majorly well-known tremolos that are out there so that you can make a decision on which one may work for you and your specific style of music. The first style of tremolo that I want to discuss is actually on this guitar right here. This is a Jackson Performer that it's not even mine. I had to borrow this thing because I don't own this kind of tremolo. And believe it or not, this came from a drummer friend of mine. So full disclosure, this thing is an absolute pain to play. Like it literally hurt my fingers. If I'm not mistaken, this thing has been hanging on a wall for at least 10 years, maybe more. That means that it also has not had a string change. But nonetheless, let's talk about why I borrowed it, and that's because it has a Floyd Rose trim. The Floyd Rose trim became very, very popular, especially in the 80s. People were even sacrificing Les Pauls, carving out tops so they could fit this tremolo inside of their guitars. It became very popular for its ability to really dig in and be an exaggerated tremolo to the point where you can truly dive bomb your heart away. And for the most part, it would stay in tune. Part of the reason why it stood in tune was because there are so many kind of mechanisms that are put in place to assist the Floyd Rose system. You string up the guitar, you tune it to pitch using the headstock tuners, then you lock the strings in place uh, by using the locking system by the nut. Then you can do detail tuning down here by the bridge. For me, it was definitely out of my wheelhouse messing with the Floyd Rose. However, it is a ton of fun to play, especially when you start messing with pitch harmonics. Out of the three styles of tremolo that I'm gonna show you today, this one definitely is the most dramatic in terms of its ability to really go to places that maybe you wouldn't even think of going if you didn't have something like this on your guitar. Certainly a fun addition to any guitar, but not an easy one. As I mentioned before, the Floyd Rose needs to sit flush and therefore a carving in the body needs to take place. And it operates very similarly to like a Strat style trim where it needs that all the spring stuff in the back. So yeah, not an easy modification if your guitar doesn't already have one. The next type of trim that we're gonna talk about today is the Bigsby. Now it's no secret that of the three, this one's probably my favorite. I pretty much have bigsby every guitar that I've owned that didn't have a Bigsby on there. That includes Les Pauls, this Fano, all of my Telecasters, yeah. I love Bigsby's. One of the reasons why I love them so much is because they are extremely subtle very forgiving, meaning you can whammy your heart away and it won't be as nauseating to listen to. Well, at least not for me. I think it happens to be one of the more musical of all of the tremolos that exist out there, especially when it's set up correctly. Going from the Floyd Rose to this guitar, I found it to be almost challenging because all of the fun little things that you could do with a Floyd Rose, you can't really do with a Bigsby. You can't really dive bomb. The Bigsby isn't stiff enough to where you smack the tremolo bar and it gets that wobbly sound thing. It just gives you that slight vibrato. It's the closest thing that I've ever heard to actually using the vibrato on your hand versus a tremolo bar. Oh. 
of the three tremolos, it looks like it's the most intrusive, but it's actually the least. It only takes four screws, and that's if you're gonna screw it directly onto the body. There's no carving involved. You can literally smack this thing on pretty much every guitar, and you're not gonna have to carve out anything on the guitar, which for me is a win-win, especially when you have to install it yourself. And lastly, we have the S-style, the Strat-style tremolo system. Probably the most popular and for very good reason. They've been around forever. They're tried, they're trusted, and they're true. They're amazing. Now, much like the Floyd Rose system, it is a little bit intrusive. You have to have the spring system mounted in the back, so it's not like you can put this in any kind of guitar. However, I've seen a lot of guitars that are made with this kind of system in it. This happens to be a two-screw version. There are multiple different versions out there. In fact, there are multiple versions of all of the types of tremolo bars that I'm showing you today. I think of the three, this one is actually directly in the middle. It can almost be as dramatic as a Floyd Rose without really getting that entire dive bomb, but it can also be as light as a Bigsby and just as musical in my opinion. Of the three, I think this is probably the most versatile style tremolo because I can really go aggressive with it or light with it and it'll cover all of my musical needs. Much like with all of the trems, it's definitely gonna help if the guitar has the ability to remain in tune. There are various little tips and tricks that I can give you that will assist your guitar, like lubricating the nut slots, or even utilizing the whammy down tuning trick, which just basically means you tune your string to pitch, whammy down one time, tune it again and repeat that process until it remains in tune. Nonetheless, the most versatile of all of the three, 1000% goes to the Strat style tremolo. So if I had to choose for sure which of the three I would prefer to use, my preference is the Bigsby. I think for my style of music and what I do on a daily basis, that covers my needs. I love how the tremolo bar feels in my hand. It's a different vibe altogether. It's more solid and I don't know. Like I said, I love how musical it is. Tremolo bars are not for everybody and I totally understand it and I'm a victim of overusing it, but I think when used properly, it is a, an amazing tool and certainly a tool that everyone should have in their arsenal. Guys, thank you all so much for watching. I want to give a special shout out and thank you to my boy Freddie who loaned me the Jackson Performer. Be sure to do all of the things that help this channel grow, like comment below. Let me know in the comment section what you thought of all of the tremolo systems, which one you prefer, and maybe one that's not so popular but should have made this list. For example, an honorable mention for me probably is the Duesenberg Trem number two. I think that's a very, very cool one and very easy to install, especially if you're installing it on an LP style guitar. While you're there leaving a comment, please do all the things that help this channel grow. Like the video, subscribe, to the channel, hit the bell notification icon so you get an alert every single time I upload a video. You can also check out some of the affiliate links in the description box below. Just by clicking on them will help out the channel just a little bit. There's also a link that you could press on directly, that PayPal link that will donate directly to the channel if you choose to do so. Thank you so much for watching and until next week.